we were in the Cartoon Clowns manifestation by then. And we were at rehearsal in my, my, my studio in Soho. We used it as rehearsal base. We had a band and everything. We had a band in those days. So we, we had a band, we had the theatre group and everything. And it was a lovely big place and we could store all the kit. And we were rehearsing. And someone came in with a melody maker. And they said, have you read this shit about Clapton? We went, no, what, what's all that? So they told us, no, Eric Clapton's done a concert in Birmingham where he said he supports Enoch Powell. He thinks Powell should be the Prime Minister. He thinks the WOG should get out and the Packy should go and on and on and on. And we're going, that can't be possible. No, it can't be right. So we look again and then next week it's in New Musical Express and then there it's all out. So we're looking at this. I mean, I was a, you know, I was a fan of this music. I'd been to see Blind Faith. I had Clapton's albums. You know what I mean? I was a big fan. And um, I'd seen him in the early days when I was doing my two and sixpence a night uh, collecting empty coat bottles at the Marquee Club. He was a young musician, sort of Cyril Davis All-Stars or early versions of uh, Jeff Beck or whatever, you know. All those young musicians, they were, it was the Marquee the where they, 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 they earned their spurs. So I, I couldn't believe it. So anyway, the more we read about it, and it was, yes, it was real, it had happened, you know. I, and I, 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 a disbelief turned into anger, you know. And I said, this is just fucking ridiculous. And so I did something I'd never done before in my life. I wrote a letter. I thought, I'm going to write a fucking letter to the, to the music press. You know, I'm going to write saying, what an arsehole, what, this is ridiculous. And so I wrote a letter. Would you read the... Yeah, I'll read the letter. So it was after rehearsal, we sat down and went, we'll write this letter. So when we read about Eric Clapton's Birmingham concert, when he urged support for Enoch Powell, we nearly puked. What's going on, Eric? You've got a touch of brain damage, mate. So you're going to stand up for us and you think we're being colonialised by black people. Come on, you've been taking too much of that Daily Express stuff. You know you can't handle it. Own up, half your music is black. You're rock music's biggest colonialist. You're a good musician, but where would you be without the blues and R&B? You've got to fight the racist poison, otherwise you degenerate into the sewer with the rats and all the money men that ripped off rock culture with their checkbooks and plastic crap. Rock was and can still be a real progressive culture, not a placid not a package mail order stick on nightmare of mediocre garbage. Keep the faith, black and white, unite and fight. We want to organize a rank and file movement against the racist poison in rock music. We urge support. All those interested, write to Rock Against Racism, Box M, Six Cotton Gardens, London E2. P.S. Who shot the sheriff, Eric? Sure as hell wasn't you, mate. September 1976.